it's thrilling to be able to see something that's never been seen before. This emission that we're seeing is, is thermal emission. Yeah, even on the night side, the surface of Venus is so hot that it's, it's glowing. Uh, uh, faintly at very red wavelengths. These whisper images I think are really exciting because they provide a new window into the lower atmosphere and surface region of Venus where these extreme conditions exist. Venus, often referred to as Earth's twin due to its comparable size and composition, stands as one of the most enigmatic planets in our solar system. Its dense, toxic atmosphere, intense surface pressure, and scorching temperatures render it hostile yet captivating. Over the years, numerous space missions have endeavored to penetrate Venus's thick cloud cover to capture images of its surface. Despite being rare and difficult to obtain, these genuine images offer a fascinating window into an alien terrain, showcasing a landscape vastly different from anything on Earth. For centuries, Venus has captivated human curiosity, sparking the imagination of cultures worldwide. Often called the morning star or evening star, it shines as the brightest object in the night sky after the moon. Its radiant glow and consistent patterns inspired countless myths and legends, frequently symbolizing love and beauty in ancient traditions. Despite its enchanting appearance, Venus remained shrouded in mystery for millennia. The space age of the 20th century, however, marked a turning point, enabling humanity to explore its secrets, beginning with the Soviet Union's groundbreaking Venera program in the 1960s. Venus is often referred to as Earth's sister planet because of its similar size, mass, and closeness to the Sun. However, the similarities stop there. Venus is a harsh and uninhabitable world with surface conditions extremely hostile to life as we know it. Its thick atmosphere, mostly made up of carbon dioxide, triggers an intense greenhouse effect, causing surface temperatures to soar above 450 degrees Celsius, 850 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt lead. To make matters worse, the planet is enveloped in dense clouds of sulfuric acid, which reflect nearly all sunlight and obscure optical imaging from space. The extreme conditions of Venus presented substantial obstacles to early efforts in studying the planet up close. On December 14, 1962, NASA's Mariner 2 spacecraft achieved the first successful flyby of Venus, conducting a brief yet groundbreaking investigation. While it did not capture images of Venus's surface, Mariner 2 delivered humanity's first direct data from another planet. It confirmed Venus's extreme temperatures, measured its dense atmosphere, and found no significant magnetic field. This milestone in planetary science demonstrated the viability of interplanetary exploration and paved the way for future missions. The Soviet Union soon followed with the Venera program, the first series of missions designed specifically to explore Venus. The thick atmosphere presented a unique challenge as traditional imaging methods could not penetrate the dense cloud cover. Nevertheless, the Soviets achieved several historic milestones. Venera 4, launched in 1967, became the first spacecraft to successfully enter and transmit data from the atmosphere of another planet, revealing its chemical composition. Subsequent missions, such as Venera 7 in 1970, marked another breakthrough when it became the first spacecraft to land on Venus and transmit data from its surface, albeit briefly. These missions offered valuable insights into Venus's extreme atmospheric pressure which exceeds Earth's by more than 90 times, and the corrosive composition of its clouds. In the years that followed, both the Soviet Union and NASA advanced their techniques for studying the planet. Radar imaging, spearheaded by missions like NASA's Magellan spacecraft in the early 1990s, enabled scientists to create detailed maps of Venus's surface despite its thick, opaque cloud cover. These maps unveiled a landscape characterized by expansive volcanic plains, massive plateaus, and distinctive geological formations, including coronae and pancake domes. Venus continues to be a mysterious planet with numerous questions still unresolved, such as whether it once had oceans or conditions conducive to life. Recent findings of possible biosignatures in its atmosphere have sparked renewed interest in exploring this fiery neighbor. The insights gained from previous missions highlight humanity's unwavering commitment to unraveling the secrets of our solar system, regardless of the challenges the journey may present.
The Soviet Union's Venera program was the first to achieve the monumental task of landing probes on Venus and transmitting images back to Earth. These missions marked a significant milestone in planetary exploration. Venera 7, launched in 1970, became the first spacecraft to land successfully on another planet. It transmitted data from the surface of Venus for 23 minutes before succumbing to the extreme conditions. While it did not carry cameras, it paved the way for future missions. Venera 9 and 10, launched in 1975, became the first to capture black and white images of Venus's surface. The images showcased a barren, rocky landscape with jagged stones spread across the surface. The ground seemed composed of basaltic rock, indicating past volcanic activity. Launched in 1982, Venera 13 and 14 captured the first color images of Venus's surface. The photos revealed a reddish-orange terrain illuminated by dim, scattered sunlight filtering through the thick atmosphere. The surface featured flat, fractured rocks and signs of ancient volcanic plains. Additionally, Venera 13 made history by recording the first audio from another planet, capturing the sound of Venus's fierce winds. The Venera images painted a picture of an alien world where temperatures could melt lead and atmospheric pressure was equivalent to being 900 meters, 3,000 feet, underwater on Earth. Despite these harsh conditions, the Soviet landers operated for over an hour, far exceeding expectations. Given the difficulty of capturing optical images through Venus's thick atmosphere, scientists turned to radar imaging to map the planet's surface. Radar can penetrate clouds and provide detailed topographic data. In 1978, NASA's Pioneer Venus Orbiter used radar to create the first global map of Venus's surface. The data revealed vast plains, highland regions, and what appeared to be volcanic structures. Between 1989 and 1994, NASA's Magellan spacecraft transformed our knowledge of Venus by mapping 98% of its surface in high resolution using synthetic aperture radar. The radar images uncovered a planet largely defined by volcanic activity, featuring enormous lava flows, calderas, and pancake-shaped domes created by thick lava. Magellan also discovered an absence of tectonic plate movement, indicating that Venus's crust behaves in a way distinct from Earth's. The radar data revealed that Venus is a world constantly reshaped by intense volcanic forces and periodic resurfacing events. These findings hinted at a dynamic geological history with the planet's surface being periodically repaved by volcanic eruptions. The real images and radar data from Venus have provided a detailed, if surreal, picture of the planet's surface. Here are some of the key features observed. Volcanic plains, which cover most of Venus's surface and are formed by ancient lava flows. These plains are relatively smooth but punctuated by volcanic features such as shield volcanoes and lava domes. Highlands and mountain ranges, with Venus having two major highland regions, Ishtar Terra and Aphrodite Terra. Ishtar Terra, located on Venus, is home to Maxwell Montes, the planet's highest mountain range, rising approximately 11 kilometers, 7 miles, above the surrounding plains. Craters are scarce on Venus due to its relatively young surface, estimated to be around 3.6 billion years old. The thick atmosphere also shields the planet, preventing smaller meteoroids from impacting the surface. Venus features two unique geological structures, coronas and tesserae. Coronas are large, circular formations believed to be created by rising magma, while tesserae are highly deformed regions with a complex, tiled appearance, likely the result of intense geological stress. Color and light. The real color images captured by the Venera landers show a reddish-orange surface likely due to the scattering of sunlight through the sulfuric acid clouds. The lighting is dim and diffuse, creating an eerie, otherworldly ambience. Venus's atmosphere plays a significant role in shaping its surface appearance. The dense carbon dioxide atmosphere creates a runaway greenhouse effect, trapping heat and leading to the planet's extreme surface temperatures. The sulfuric acid clouds not only obscure the surface, but also contribute to the chemical weathering of the rocks. Venus has an atmospheric pressure that is approximately 92 times greater than Earth's at sea level, which is equivalent to the pressure experienced nearly a kilometer beneath the ocean's surface. This extreme pressure causes rocks to compress and alters their physical characteristics, playing a significant role in shaping the planet's distinct geology.
Recently, interest in Venus has grown, with multiple missions set to return to the planet to explore its remaining secrets. One such mission, NASA's Veritas, Venus Emissivity, Radio Science, INSAR, Topography and Spectroscopy, is scheduled for launch in the late 2020s. It will focus on creating detailed maps of Venus's surface and investigating its geological features. NASA's Da Vinci Plus, Deep Atmosphere Venus Investigation of Noble Gases, Chemistry, and Imaging mission will focus on exploring the complex atmosphere of Venus, with a key objective of capturing high-resolution images as it descends through the thick clouds towards the planet's surface. The mission aims to analyze the chemical composition and dynamic processes within Venus's atmosphere, offering a closer look at its mysterious and extreme environment. Complementing NASA's efforts, the European Space Agency's ESA and Vision mission will examine Venus from a different angle, using advanced radar and spectroscopy tools to probe both the surface and subsurface of the planet. By analyzing surface features and geological structures, Envision will provide valuable data on the planet's past and present geological activity, helping scientists understand its evolution. Together, these missions will expand upon the legacy of past space missions such as the Soviet Union's Venera program and NASA's Magellan mission. They will offer groundbreaking insights into Venus's atmosphere, surface, and its potential to have supported life in its ancient past, allowing researchers to build a more comprehensive picture of Earth's sister planet. The real images of Venus, captured through the Venera missions and radar imaging, have offered us a captivating view of an alien world. The planet's surface, shaped by fierce volcanic activity and extreme atmospheric conditions, presents a landscape that is both dangerous and intriguing. Despite the challenges of exploring such an unforgiving environment, our efforts have uncovered a planet that is both strikingly similar to and profoundly different from Earth. As we look ahead to the next phase of Venus exploration, the images and data from past missions remind us of humanity's remarkable ability to tackle tremendous obstacles in the pursuit of knowledge. The mysteries hidden beneath Venus's clouds remain one of the greatest enigmas in our solar system, and future missions hold the promise of bringing us closer to uncovering its secrets.